Hey guys, it's the Christmas or holiday season soon and I'm sure there will be a lot of potlucks, a lot of group gatherings. Today I just want to show you guys how to make a good mashed potatoes. I believe like, especially in this kind of western um, holiday meals, right, mashed potatoes is like almost a common stay on the table. So it's really really simple. Uh, I'm just going to quickly go through. I don't think this will take more than 5 minutes. Uh, yeah, let's get to it. So first I chop up some spring onions. I couldn't find chives at the supermarket today so I'm just going with this. Leave that aside. And today here I have some peeled washed uh, russet potatoes. You can go for the Yukon potatoes if you want but for me I only could find the russet ones. Then all I'm gonna do is to cut them into smaller sizes so that they cook faster. And then put them back into the wok. Here I'm starting cold so that the potatoes cook evenly. So we just turn on the flame like, like so. While that is going on, we're going to fry up some bacon, also starting cold so that we get more of that rendered fat that you can put into your mashed potatoes. So I cook mine for about 15 minutes, but you cook until you can run your knife through so easily like that. Then you're ready to start mashing. I'm sorry, I'm also filming a TikTok video here. <laughs> so pardon that. And then here I'm going to give you the secret. The secret to a good mashed potatoes is feeding your potatoes. You really want to add your seasoning, your butter, that amount of butter, the cheese, the cream. So while it might look like a casual, you know, mashed potatoes on the outside, there's so much flavor being hidden there. So I'm going to throw up everything I put on the screen right now. And then here's the another important part. You want to put milk as much as you want to achieve the texture that you want. Some of you might like the potatoes as you see it right now, like a bit more chunky. But here I was going for a really, really light and fluffy mashed potato. I think like having that light texture along with that much flavor behind it, right, is really, really interesting to me. So this was what I ended up with and then really importantly, taste for seasoning. Mashed potato that is not salty is not nice at all. You really want to emphasize the amount of salt inside. And while it might look really really plain on the outside when you take a bite. So get a nice plate and then sort of plate it however you like. Because it's so fluffy, you can even, you know, press it with a spoon like a puree and then top it with some bacon and spring onions and then you are done. So this actually turned out way better than I expected. Is it unhealthy? Yes. Do you see the crazy amount of salt and butter that I use? But for holiday occasion, okay lah. So yeah, I hope you guys can bring this to your potluck. And yeah, that's all I have for you guys this time. Like the video if you liked it, dislike it if you disliked it and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys in the next video.